y'all. It's November Quilty Box Day. And we're going to open this up and see what's going on. Um, I think this is my last one because I've got three. I, got, I did a three month. So I think this is the last one. But I probably will renew that subscription. Um, I've had a really good time opening these up and seeing the good stuff inside of them. And I hope y'all have enjoyed watching. And uh, really go and see about getting one of these subscriptions. Because I don't think you'll regret it. I think I think you'll really like it. Because I was kind of like, uh -huh, And I'm glad I did. Okay. Let's open this up. Where's my sheet? It says what stuff is. Okay, I guess I don't have that one. Oh, there it is. Nope. Okay, let's just go with this. First we have Petites, the handiest handwork thread. And you really can't see the color. Can you see it? Okay. And it's a uh, embroidery floss. So I don't know if you can run that through the machine or not. 50 yards per spool, machine washable, 100% cotton, 12 weight. And it's showing a lot of the uh, uh, hand embroidery stuff. So I'm thinking you probably can't run that through your machine. Um, I probably could crochet with it. I know that seems like a doozy. I don't even want to think about trying to really do that. Ooh, we got, it looks like we have a layer cake packet. Okay, hold on. It kind of falling apart here. Oh, I love, you know, since I started trying that the first quilty box we went through, it had a charm pack square. I'm falling in love with pre-cuts because I can't cut yardage. It's always crooked. So this one says, Birds of the Bees, Tamara Kate. And it's 25 pieces, 10 by 10, Michael Miller Fabrics. So, yeah, Michael Miller Fabrics. Birds of the Bay. And, um, it's got some pretty colors. <gasps> Look at that. Oh. I'm loving the purple there. Uh-oh, it looks like mine got a... Look at that. It's missing its piece. Oh, well. We'll still use it. Okay. Get through the worms here. Oh, here's the thing we were looking for. Oh, sorry guys. Sometimes my nails have an issue. Okay, what's in your box? And then this is brought to you by Crafty Gemini, Vanessa Wilson. And I'll be honest, I used to watch a lot of hers. And then she kind of went all about the company and kind of lost herself. And I know I shouldn't say something like that, but that's the way I feel. The same way with Mikey from the Crochet Crowd. He used to be down home, really earthy, you know, but now it's all about companies, sponsors, 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 promoting companies, and he's lost his way too. Um, I'm not gonna be afraid to say that because that's the way I feel, my personal opinion. So, um, I said, Vanessa with the crest, Jim and I is she still has some good stuff, but she's gone to to publicize herself, and I I don't know whatever. All right, silky paper uh, water soluble stabilizer is next. So uh, I'm not quite sure what this is for. Use paper solvy as a base backing or topper with or without printing a design on it. Print multiple copies of designs in copy machines. Inkjet or bubble jet printers trace designs using pencils or permanent ink markers or heat transfer design using silky iron on transfer pens. A great way to use designs off your computer or the internet. So, hmm, I'm not real sure. I've never heard of this, I don't know. I'm gonna have to YouTube this, because I don't know. So, all right, and it looks like we got one more thing. And this is called a 10 inch slicer. 
and it's a ruler. Can you, you want to put it here? Does that work better? Okay. And it says it's for uh, quilters to make quilts using the 10 by 10 squares with no fabric waste and without the need for additional yardage. It's not just as one trick pony. It's a template and a ruler. You can also use the measurement lines to cut strips for quilt designs and scrappy bindings. This is a must-have tool for quilters. Watch Vanessa's t video tutorial on uh, craftygemini.com quilty box to learn how to use the template and with the birds and the bees 10 by 10 squares to create bun pillow covers. So this you cut with this because it will fit on there like that. So I'm thinking you could probably just whack, do a whacking stack where you take the ruler and cut all the pieces and rearrange them back into pretty cool squares. I'm thinking that's what you could probably do with that. And I found the card, so let me check on that thread real quick. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's for embroidery, so. Anyway, that's a pretty good box today. I, I'm, I'm impressed, because I love quilting rulers. I love quilting rulers, and I love fabric. So, um, that was a pretty good box. Like I said, if you haven't got your box, it's quiltybox.com, and I'll put the information in the box. Um, thank y'all for watching, and have a good one.